During our stay in China, we have undertaken a water sampling project, where we collect water from within the lower level pond near the basketball courts. This is a demonstration of how to correctly perform the task. We will sample the water from the pond that is on Fafu campus. The samples will be from the statute pond area that drains down to the Guanyin Lake. The equipment that is going to be used to complete this sampling collection are a full body protective suit, gloves, face mask, a dipper, closed toe shoes, glass containers, a cooler, ice packs, and chain of custody sealed labels. Before beginning sampling, observe the site surroundings for any possible points of contamination or hazardous obstacles. Loose debris and soil nearby the pond are easily transported to the water body during heavy rainfall. Make sure to decontaminate sampling equipment before and in between each sample. To start the sampling, take a background sample from the input of the pond, since this is the origin of water for this site. This background sample will be used as our place of normal environment concentration of coliform. Once the background sample has been taken, make sure to label the container with the sampling individual, location, date, and time to prevent misidentification of samples. For further QAQC purposes, a split sample should be taken every few samples. To take a split sample, simply pour one sample from the collected water in the dipper and then pour another, both of appropriate size. It is important to know for surface sampling, it is required the collection begin from downstream target. For this project, we need to apply the simple random sampling plan. Before going out to the water sampling site, we need to use a random number generator to determine which sites we need to sample the water. After targeting the site, we will use glass containers and dippers to collect the sample we needed, beginning with the furthest one downstream of the flow. Make sure to wear closed-toed shoes unlike the individual sampling here. This is an example of how not to take a water sample. Once again, we need to fill out the label with location, date, and time. When the samples are all gathered, we will fill out our chain of custody forms for each sample. This is completed in order to trace the sample position from the time of collection. After this form is completed, the samples are then sealed in the cooler with ice for preservation purposes and sent to the lab for analysis. Thanks, Thanks and Gigum. Gigum.